Okay, this is the control panel for the motorhome. So we're gonna go through and show you what each button um, represents. So we'll start in the bottom right hand corner. That's your on off button. So um, when the light's on, that shows that the control panel was on. The first button I'm gonna show you is the top left hand button there, which shows a picture of a tap. That is your water pump. So when we press that, the water pump is then primed uh, and then ready to use. So you can use uh, the sink in the kitchen, the sink in the bathroom, the shower in the bathroom, as well as flushing your toilet. So that's a, a button that once you've pitched up, I leave on all the time. Directly below that, you press that button. Uh, that's your outside light. So there's an LED light above the door outside. So when you come back in the evening, you can have the light on uh, so you can see where you are. Um, the button below that is probably the most important button is your lighting button, a picture of a bulb. So we press that button there. And once that's pressed, that means you can individually turn on the different lights throughout the motorhome that, that you require. And they're dotted all around the motorhome. Also, um, the 12 volt television works off of that circuit. And I'll show you the television later, but if the lighting button is not on, the television will not work. And the rest of the buttons are information buttons. So underneath, picture of a thermometer, that's temperature. So if you press that button, that's telling us it's uh, currently a very warm 28 in here. To the top right, wavy lines in the box, water. If you press that button once, it shows that the fresh water tank, which is a blue, is 33% full. Okay, that goes up and down in increments of 33%. So the next reading you'll get will be uh, zero if it's empty, or if you start filling up, it will be 66 and then eventually 100. If you press the button again, you'll see R1, which is the uh, waste tank for your sink and shower water. That's currently empty, and again, that will go up in increments of 33%. Directly below that button uh, is the uh, leisure battery uh, voltage, which is full at the moment, and then your engine battery below that. Okay, this is the control panel for your heating and hot water, and you'll need to tell it whether you're going to be using gas or electricity uh, to operate it. So to start off with, you press your home button once and you'll get this screen come up. First thing you'll see flashing is a picture of a motorhome with a thermometer in it. If you, whilst that's flashing, if you press the button and then you can use the dial to select the temperature you want. So say you wanted 23 degrees, you move the dial to 23 and press the button to confirm it. So we've told the boiler that we want uh, the heating to be 23 degrees. The symbol adjacent to it, a picture of a thermometer and water, that's your water setting. Now, if it reverts back to the, uh, that setting there, just press the home button again and that will come up. So you move the dial until you see the picture of the water and thermometer symbol flashing. And whilst it's flashing, press it to confirm and then select hot and confirm it. So you've now told the boiler you're gonna want hot water. The next symbol along is a picture of a gas bottle and electricity symbol. You move that to that flashes, select it, and then you either select gas, which you would use if you're not on electric hookup, or electric one if you're on electric hookup, and then confirm it. And then finally, you've got a picture of a fan. That's your fan setting for the heating. So you move the dial to the fan flashes, select it, and either select eco or high, depending on how much heat you want blown through the air ducts throughout the motorhome.